Claude just got another major update and almost nobody is talking about this beyond the surface level. However, these are the features we've all been waiting for for years. Seamlessly integrating internet search with your inbox, with your Google Docs and your calendar for the first time ever. Today I want to show you five ways you can mix and match these new features for some stunning productivity breakthroughs. While I was running my marketing agency, research and communication were the critical bottlenecks that cost us thousands of dollars. I really wish we had this back then. Here's why this matters. The more quickly and accurately you can learn, process, and share information, the more valuable to the world you'll become and the more highly rewarded you'll be. So here's the 80-20 of how you can use Claude's fresh updates to build your own personalized AI toolkit. These are strategies most people won't discover for months. Let's start with the world's biggest time suck, the email inbox. Did you know that professionals spend about 30% of their day here? The first thing you got to do is head over to Claude.ai and connect your apps by clicking this little button and connecting it to your Google Drive, your Google Calendar, and your Gmail, as well as your GitHub if you happen to be a programmer. From there, we're hopping right into the cheat sheet. I make a cheat sheet for every single video that I create. There are now over 125 of them available instantly to anybody who joins me on Patreon. And it's full of prompts here. So we're gonna grab this one that just says, hey, look through my email inbox for any notable AI updates. I subscribe to a ton of AI newsletters. And I wanna know what is mentioned in multiple newsletters right off the bat before I go sifting through that. So I'm just gonna copy and paste this into Claude and get a summary of those different AI updates. And that has now run. It's looked through a bunch of different threads here and it has pulled up a bunch of notable AI updates that are getting mentioned across multiple different uh, emails, which is really helpful to surface what is the big news to make sure that I'm on top of it. But here's the magic prompt that I love. This one just says, look through my unread emails, highlight the most urgent action items, then list the emails you think I need to respond to and finally list the emails that seem like spam or non-urgent. Let's drop that right here into Claude and see what it pulls up. Ran for a couple seconds here, looked through all of my unread emails, highlighted this one absolutely correct, this doctor that I need to get back to. And again, that is the one that requires a response. It gave me some, you know, potentially useful uh, emails here and then listed out some promotional and non-urgent emails. So that is a beautiful way to get a quick snapshot of what's going on in my inbox without having to look through all the spam, junk, et cetera, that's in there. Now I wanna jump from the email inbox integration to the Google Docs and calendar integration with this prompt. So I have basically a checklist of all the things I need to deal with each week on a repetitive basis, the things I typically do on Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, et cetera. That's called my weekly schedule document here. So with this prompt, I've said, hey, please take a look at my weekly schedule document as well as my calendar for tomorrow and give me a rundown of my day. So we'll drop this right into Claude and let that run. It's found that document in my Google Drive and looked through all of my events and it says, hey, for tomorrow, you've got to edit a couple videos, you've got to fix some database issues, got to review some cheat sheets and that has the link there to the Google Doc. And then it says I have this uh, appointment in the afternoon and the evening is relatively free. So you can now see how this this can be really helpful mixing and matching these multiple different data sources and getting these quick summaries like this. But the calendar integration in itself is a true game changer. One of the top questions I get from a lot of my uh, coaching clients is, how do I use AI to help me schedule things out? And up until now, there wasn't a great way to do it, but now you can use easy prompts like this one to help schedule meetings. All I'm saying here is, can you find some time tomorrow when everybody can meet? So this goes into your Google Google Calendar, and as long as you have access to your team members' calendars, it can see all of that and recommend times for meetings. So it's pulled together, you know, the absolute times that everybody's free, but then it's smart enough to say, okay, considering the standard business hours, you've got availability, everyone has availability from 9 to 10, from 2 to 3.30, and then at 5 to 6, which is really helpful if you're trying to just at a glance figure out, you know, a bunch of different time slots where everybody's available. You can put in different team members' names 
names there to uh, you know figure out when they are specifically available. You can use this to schedule recurring meetings. You know what is the best time that everybody's available for this recurring meeting. So super helpful here. But now let's prep for that meeting using this prompt. So please create a meeting brief following the meeting brief template, which is a template we all follow when we're getting together for our meetings. And I want it to be related to this 11 Labs agent to agent transfer feature that just came out. And I'm telling it, you can find information about that in my email inbox. So this is getting us ready for a meeting based on some things I've noticed in my email and prepping the team. Let's drop that right in here and let it run. And it has now created this artifact, which is the meeting brief following my exact meeting brief format. You can see this is the meeting brief format document that it's referencing and has pulled information from my email into this meeting brief so everybody's ready for that meeting that we just scheduled. I've got a link to that meeting brief template here in the cheat sheet as well. So you can see how all of this can really help you save some time and that's what this channel is all about, Blazing Zebra. We gotta move fast, but we've also got to embrace our own unique abilities. So that's where the Blazing Zebra comes from and hopefully that time savings can go into really allowing you to think deeper and more intentionally about what you you want to do with your time, with your career, and you know, with your future. That's what I've done when I shut down my marketing agency and pivoted into my role, and that's what I'm here to help you do with all of these videos that I create. Now, here is a killer workflow that is finally all available in one tool. Previously, you had to go to Perplexity and Claude and jump around a lot, but now you can just ask Perplexity to search the web for 30 different trending topics in the whatever space you're in. I'm using the consumer healthcare space as my example. I'm going to drop that in and allow it to go search the internet for the most trending topics in this area. You can see it's searching the web. Now I'm going to ask it to please generate five different content ideas that mix and match and combine at least two or three of these trending topics. So getting it to start to think how these different things could be connected in a novel way. We'll drop that in. And finally, I'm going to ask it to create a LinkedIn post following my LinkedIn post template doc and my content and brand doc guidelines for one of these ideas. Here's that LinkedIn post template, which goes through different ideas of how these LinkedIn posts should be formatted for viral success. And here is my brand and content guidelines. This is a consumer healthcare project that I'm working on right now. So this is gonna take idea number four and create a LinkedIn post based on our template and our content guidelines. So that is so awesome. It has gone forth and found our LinkedIn post template it's also found our content brand guidelines and it has created a LinkedIn post based on all of that. Pretty sweet with great hashtags as well. So we are just scratching the surface of what this can do. There is so much in here. I just want to go through a couple of these other prompts to get your mind churning on all that you can do with this new functionality. Here's another prompt I've found to be useful. Research the latest developments in whatever industry you're in and compare them with your current strategy document. That one's awesome. Here's another one for context aware assistance. Based on my recent emails with a person or team? What are the key issues that I should address in our up and coming meeting? Here's another one. Create a brief for my call with a specific prospect. Find out information about their current situation from the web and our email correspondence. Make sure to highlight their recent business developments. Great for getting uh, prepped for a sales call. Any sort of engineering problem that your team might be struggling with. Looking through your system architecture and researching what are the current best practices in that area. Another great one, if you have your proposal template stored as a Google Doc, you can simply say, hey, update that based on the recent emails from specific prospect. What about all your policies? A lot of companies I've worked for had all sorts of different policies. You can look through all of those and find how there might be some inconsistencies or areas that need updating. This can be great for process documents, etc. The other big thing I thought a lot about is onboarding. If you're bringing a new team member on, they can have access to specific documents where you have a lot of questions answered and this bot can really help them onboard into their new role. You can even think of documents that have step-by-step 
step-by-step -step onboarding uh, processes listed out that these folks can then onboard themselves with Claude and access to those specific documents. This cheat sheet is absolutely packed with all sorts of resources that improve upon what we've just gone over, and this is the type of thing that any knowledge worker should be deeply focused on these days. There's over 125 others that are immediately accessible to anybody who joins my Patreon. There's a link in the description. There's some coaching options in there as well, so check that out. And if you're as big of a fan of Claude as I am, you definitely want to check out this video all about using it for project management. I'll see you over there. Make your dreams.